I'm Jess and this is my boyfriend Jasper and last year we sold our house and quit our jobs to travel the world. We've spent the last few weeks exploring Phuket but this is our first time exploring the surrounding islands. Really beautiful islands so we're gonna go have a little explore. We go snorkeling and then our boat breaks down in the middle of the ocean. Okay it's okay don't worry about it. We are currently getting ready to go on a boat trip and I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Like I just have a bit of a fear of the sea and even though I was able to do snorkeling in Egypt really well, I just, I don't know what it is. Like I do just get a little bit nervous. I've been excited about this though because I do love a boat trip. I do love getting out on the ocean. It's just the getting in the ocean part which makes me a little bit nervous. I've got my own snorkel mask which I've tested out and I think we should be good. So it's basically a snorkeling boat trip today and going to all different islands and I think it's going to be a really fun day. So I will bring you guys along and show you what we're up to and hopefully see lots of fishies as well. Are you excited? Yeah buddy. You actually love to see. Yeah I do. I ain't scared of the sea. I am. So we've got like half an hour, I'd say, until we get on the boat. It's gonna be fun. I'm like nervous slash excited. <laughs> We're going to a place called Coral Island, which hopefully that's basically lots of fishies. Like it makes sense, that's the name of it. Just walking towards the boat. We're not actually sure which boat it is yet. No, we're still a lot of walking. Yeah. This is the boat. Like my fear of the ocean is extended to the fear of boats. <laughs> oh, you're bleeding. Jasper's bashed his elbow and it's bleeding. <gasps> oh my gosh, you bled all there. How did you not feel that? I remember hitting my elbow, but I just thought I hit it. So we're currently at Raya Island and it's beautiful, but we're gonna go to a snorkeling spot. You can either get off here and just like chill on the beach, but we're gonna go snorkeling. But honestly, that was so choppy, the seas. I was like bouncing up and down. It was actually quite fun. Like the first like five minutes, I was absolutely terrified. And then after that, it was actually not too bad. This island is beautiful and it's only 20 minutes from um, Phuket. We're the only ones going snorkeling. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. <laughs> right, we're going in. Guys, excuse the horrendous line around my face from the snorkeling mask, but it was so nice. Like, I was shocked at how clear the water was. You could see so low, and there were people like scuba diving underneath us, which was like so cool. It actually makes me want to scuba dive. If any of you have done scuba diving, let me know what it's like. I feel like I probably love it because you can obviously breathe fine underwater but it also is a little bit scary so yeah i was shocked at how much i enjoyed it though the weather isn't the best it is so cloudy it's a shame that i feel like this yeah, like, beach would look so much nicer with the sun out yeah like it looks sick now but what that's what i mean like, what would, it what would like yeah it, it looks beautiful though anyway we've got about 40 minutes to chill here and then it is lunch time um but what did you think of the snorkeling no it's pretty good yeah i just wish my ear hit one yeah jasper's ear like plays up and like as soon as he dove down 
it just like it again. yeah i should probably go to the doctors yeah you probably not, should i burst my eardrum like four years three ago three years ago or something yeah it's never been right since no i don't think it's ever healed properly i think the pressure of the water just like messed up here yeah so that's a bit annoying but we're gonna chill here on the beach I say enjoy the sunshine, but we're still there waiting for it to come out. Yeah. I actually love it here though. It's so nice to come to a different island and just see how beautiful it is here. It's really peaceful as well. Like the sound of the waves and just everything. I love it. Lunch. Lunch is provided on this boat trip, so we're gonna go see. Yeah, riding on tractor apparently. Yeah, apparently we're riding a tractor, so we'll see. But I'm excited. I'm actually quite hungry as well. I'm hungry. We haven't really eaten much today, so it should be nice. I wonder what the food it is. Do you know? It's buffet, I think. Mm, we'll see, guys. This is the tractor that we're gonna be riding. looks it's so blue here so we've just come to a different part of the island and it's so nice palm trees are beautiful it's actually amazing like i don't think i've seen water this blue before so the next stop on our boat trip is coral island so we're gonna go get back on the boat and head there next <laughs> arrived at coral island and it's so choppy out at sea so two other people came and sat with us at the front as well and they did not know what they were no. in for like it was so funny she <laughs> was she was screaming as soon as we like left it was it was hilarious but anyway we got here in one piece so that's all good um, but here but very nice but coral island is beautiful so look at the water it's so blue there's lots of people here a nice quite, island, eh? Quite lively. Yeah. But yeah, it's a really beautiful island, so we're gonna go have a little explore. Um, I don't think we're gonna do any snorkeling here because I just feel like. I don't know. I'm not in the minute, you don't think we're gonna see anything. No, because it is just so choppy the sea. But the sun's come out, so that's one good thing. Anyway, let's go explore. Is it? And an iced coffee. Okay, 
It's okay, don't worry about it. Ah, we swim. You can't go. We swim. Ah. <laughs> We've made it back alive. It was honestly so funny being on that boat. Like, at first, I was petrified and then as soon as i got like used to it, it was actually so much more fun and then on the way back the engine broke well we didn't actually know what happened they didn't like tell us but the boat completely stopped just like in the middle of the ocean and it was so like we literally thought we were going to be stranded there for a while but after a little bit of time they managed to get it working again and then we carried on a bit longer and it stopped again and I was just like, what is going on? And especially because it was so choppy at sea. But luckily, we've made it back in one piece. I was just on the phone with my mum then. And I was just telling her about it. And she was like, I'm so glad you're back home in one piece. Because <laughs> honestly, I've never experienced anything like it. It was so fun. Like, such an adrenaline rush. But the sea was just choppy. Coral Island was so nice. I just wish we were able to snorkel. Because... I, the sea was just too crazy to like actually snorkel properly um so we basically just chilled like walked around a little bit and it looked so nice so yeah i definitely recommend going there on a boat trip because it did look absolutely beautiful we booked the boat trip on booking.com and i was actually really surprised at how cheap it was so it was 30 pound each so it cost 60 pound which obviously included lunch as well and they also gave us some fruit on the boat um and some water and stuff like that so it included all of that and it was 30 pound each i was I was really surprised at that because most of the boat trips we've seen have been like a hundred pound each um 150 pound like they've all been quite pricey whereas that one I thought was a really reasonable price to be fair the only thing that was a little bit annoying is obviously we got up for eight o'clock this morning and then we didn't actually end up getting on the boat till like half ten because we had to wait for more people to be dropped off and then we were told to be downstairs for eight but they took like 45 minutes to come pick us up so it was a lot of like waiting around but to be fair for that price i really didn't care at all the islands were absolutely beautiful though and i just can't wait to go to more islands like they are just stunning so we're definitely going to be visiting some more of the islands soon it's a shame about the weather because i feel like everything looks so much nicer when it's sunny whereas it was a little bit overcast today the sun did come out a little bit though on on coral island which was so nice although i did slightly burn my scalp so i feel like you could probably still get burnt even when it's not sunny so i don't know what's going on there but anyway i'm actually also really proud of myself for doing the snorkeling it was actually not too bad because i didn't fully like jump into the water i just like eased myself off of the boat and then jasper looked down i at this point hadn't looked down and he was like oh my gosh it's so clear so I was like, okay, cool, because obviously I'd done snorkeling before in Egypt and we went to a really shallow place because I was like a bit scared. And then as soon as I looked down in this water today, I literally started to panic because right underneath me were scuba divers and it was so deep. It's probably like the deepest water I've been in. Like for me, it's deep. It for Jasper, say, it's not it deep. Like, it was like five meters. That's not even, that's, no, it's definitely deeper than that. Nah, I don't reckon it was. Do you not think? Well, it was scary. Anyway, so I looked down and I literally started to panic a little bit. And then I managed to just, like, calm myself. And I sort of realised, like, once I was looking around, there wasn't, like, tons of seaweed. It wasn't, like, super crazy down there. We saw so many, like, fish all in, like, a shoal. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Shoal of fish. And that was really cool. So I'm just so glad that I did it. So ho hopefully, by the end of this travel, I'll just be swimming about in the sea no cares in the world no life jacket anymore i think that's my thing like i'm a little bit scared of drowning and also things biting me touching me stinging me all of that in the sea as well kind of scares me a little bit but we'll get over it one boat trip at a time it's currently seven o'clock so we're just like chilling out now showered feel a lot more fresh which is nice so yeah i really hope you guys did enjoy this video and i shall see you all again very soon
bye in the next episode we head to the famous big buddha but it looks absolutely massive we also head down the coast slightly and explore another area of phuket so we've just arrived in qatar we also visit the most beautiful cafe i have ever been to this is exactly the travel vibes that i've signed up for <laughs>